what is going on guys i just realized hold on my microphone my my webcam is a little bit off hold on give me just a second what is going on guys my name is roman back again from roman reviews here with another episode of uh boarding school julia episode nine if i sound a little bit different it is true i have a new microphone i have the blue yeti microphone i probably just realized i might have just screwed that the audio up a little bit on that <laughs> um i am working on a few i'm working on the settings uh trying to see what i can really get to but I wanted a new microphone, uh, my old one, my blue uh, Snowball, which is right here now. It's it's now retired. Uh, I'll, I'll bring it back out every once in a while if I need to, but... Okay, there we go. <laughs> but I wanted to get a new one, so I, I will sound a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this is going to be as clear as possible. If not, let me know in the comment section below, or if you want me to change a little bit, a few things, or uh, just whatever it is. But yeah, I'm ready to jump into this. It actually is on YouTube. This entire episode is on YouTube, and I checked it. I just went through a really quick scroll through it. Everything looks fine. No ads. I mean, I'm probably not going to be able to get ads on here anyway. But I'm ready to jump into this episode. I want to see what it is. I think this is going to be a backstory on Best Girl, so I'm ready to jump into this. So guys, without further ado, let us jump in to a new episode of Boarding School Juliet, episode 9, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Oh, is that Char? Best girl. Y'all can fight me. Fight me. Are we going to see a scene? Are we going to see a scene? Let me be alone with- Oh no! She's going to say, let me be alone so I can be with Romeo? Oh no, you're gonna break her heart. Don't worry, I will be with you. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> it's, it has to be. Alright, as per usual, I'm gonna be blocking out the um, actual intro every once in a while. Wow, you're... You can actually hear, you can actually hear the uh, music on that one. Alright, so I'm gonna go turn off, take, off the, take off the headphones because it's probably gonna throw me off, but... I'm not spoiling anything. Like I said, I, I don't really remember a lot of stuff. That's the bad thing about me being a... I mean, that's also a good thing, because I don't really remember a lot of things that happen. I know most of how things are going to um, be portrayed as, um, but I don't normally always remember what exactly happens. So, like I said, I'm not spoiling anything. I'm not spoiling anything, but yeah. Also, I am being a little bit quiet. I don't know if my roommate's home, and if he is, he's sleeping, because he just came back from Seattle. I don't know, though. <laughs> but yeah, um... Th I know I'm only reacting to two shows, and a lot of people were like, where's your bunny girl sent? But I haven't seen more than the first episode, and I do plan on getting back to it. Maybe. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I, I still feel like... I, I think I might give it a three-episode treatment, where I feel like if uh, I might need to, um watch it on my own and if i feel like i do then um oh, okay the intro is about to be done um but if i do uh i'll give it the three episode treatment and figure out from there if i'm going to react to it all right <laughs> he did the same that's actually kind of funny one more week you know i actually don't really remember much about Why? Why would you be under the bed? Yep. Yes, so she's interested. I hear the police. It's a chance! To buy something. I, I Like I said, I don't really remember much about ha what happened in the actual manga, so... 
I'm pretty sure, like, once it is, I'm like, oh, okay. I, yeah, I don't, I really don't remember. I mean, I'm guessing what he actually gets, but I think I'm totally wrong. Mm, white cat. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to fight. Oh no, you're gonna rip it. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Jeez. It's because she's jealous. I don't hate you. <laughs> Inuzuka's the escort. She's gonna she's gonna she's gonna have to. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I will be I will be your escort. You lucky son of a bitch. It's... I thought it was Scott for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it fooled me. I thought you were Scott for a split second. I was about to start hissing. They even gave him contacts, too. I mean, you guys were just fighting for it. <laughs> that cat. That cat face. Are you sure about that? <laughs> By the way, those socks are ten out of ten. I mm. Are we going? To, are we going to see this? Will we be seeing Char and that? Yes, it is. Wear it. Screw that! I want to see you. Oh my god. What, what do you want me to do? Oh my god. She is. <laughs> oh my god. They're both. <laughs> Go away, Scott. They're actually, like, it's like, kind of funny, though, when it comes to Persia, they bounce off each other really well. Oh my god, you just kind of went Cinderay. You just went Cinderay. You're just adding more and more points to yourself. When it, 
Wow, it looks like it's gonna rain. Torrential downpour out of nowhere. I do love how their uniforms are a little bit way too big in her. On them. Oh, they're gonna start. Oh no. Oh no, now he knows. You done fucked up. <laughs> oh yeah, they already introduced that he was a brother. It's not long for spoilers. Now the brother knows, and he's about to be that ass. <laughs> Is it see through? Is it see through? Oh my. Oh my god, that face. You tease. I die. It's almost making it seem like she... I, I, I never got that kind of feeling that she actually like liked him back, really, in the manga. But it's kind of given it like that... It's given that kind of vibe in the anime. I mean, I'm not complaining. But this is weird though, like in, the, like in this in the manga, it seemed like they were more like they become like, like frenemies. Less uh, in in the anime, it definitely made it seem like she kind of has feelings from like. But that I can remember. I mean, I might be totally wrong. Jesus. Man, I for, I forgot there was another there was another anime that I watched where there was a rich girl, but and it was the same way where she was like, "Wow, no one really, really scolded me." I forgot what it was though. Pretty sure there's a few of them. I mean, it's a pretty it's a trope. Oh my god, young Charlotte. Char is pretty damn adorable. Oh, that's the radical. Damn. 
Okay, I do remember this in the manga. Damn! Bit of a badass. Punish me. Sure, I'll lend a hand. Just not worried what kind of you think. I'm her escort. <laughs> She's putting on airs. <laughs> oh my god. That little st Nani Sudane As much as I love you. Oh my god, she's too she's too cute. I'm glad that we were able to get a little bit of a ba of a more char centered episode. Yep. I mean it it was pretty obvious. She's going out of her way for Oh, now you're all happy. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Still got a cough. Oh yeah, that's right. Last time I was, I, I did a reaction. I sounded like shit. Oh, don't be sad. He's conflicted. <laughs> Wait, what is it? I can't think of I can't think of what it is if it's underwear. I, why do I have a feeling it's underwear? <laughs> I know how you use it. Are you gonna get? Oh, okay. It's it's it's. She always sends a message. Oh, wait a second. Uh Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I thought something else was gonna happen. My bad. Oh, stop. <laughs> you no, you don't say that. You don't say that you forgot. 
Why would you turn? Why would he turn you down? The dude's head over. Oh my! <laughs> the dude's head. The dude is head over heels for you, man. Jesus! That's your way of celebrating? I love you! <laughs> it is... It is a bit hard, though. Like I said, if I had a significant other, I would be like, oh, I mean, I would try. It is hard, though. If you... S oh, my God. She's, she's so cute. She's so cute. You can't stop. You're making me question who was best girl. And she and Shari is up there. You can't be up there too. Too many waifus will ruin your life. That is the rule. She's too good. I don't see her actually ever ending up with Scott as like a romantic partner. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if they were the ships, her and um, Persia, I wouldn't mind that. Husky. Oh no, it is. It is. Why is my brother here? Why do you have a Oh, I remembered. Oh, I remember what happened. This is going to be good. Next episode is going to be good. You know, I think that's the first time we've actually seen his eyes. Like, I think so, because they always had that, like, the Elsin effect where they're like... There was always a glare over the eyeglasses. Okay, all right. So I'm assuming there is no ending, um, but I'm just gonna go hide the ending really quickly and give my thoughts on this episode. Um, I'm glad that we were able to get a star-centered, uh, focused episode. Um, like I said, I mean, honestly, yes, I have seen the manga, but just the situation that was played out. If you've seen enough anime, like these kinds of anime, like the romantic comedies and with a with a lot of stereotypical tropes, you're going to recognize them and be like, oh, okay, this is what's going to happen. And there's nothing wrong. It's just, it's how you execute it. And they definitely gave more characterization and more development towards Carol. Mm. Uh, I, I wouldn't say development, but they gave her more personality for sure. But like I said, it, like the main the main thing that real I really stuck out to me, it made it seem like she kind of has some. She's starting to harbor some some very small feelings for um, Inuzuka, which is a little bit odd because, like I said, they, I always got the feeling that they were the frenemies in the actual manga. I never really got that hint. I mean, like I remember in the manga. Now that I think about it, of the that scene where like she was like, oh. I'll do whatever you want, but it, it seemed like she was more like doing it in terms of actual like. Oh, let me see. Okay. 
Never do that again, Scott. Oh my god, she's cute. But, alright. Alright. Anyways, um... The thing that... I want to... Hold on, let me just... Alright. <laughs> that was just me checking out the... Doing a test on the actual... What you're seeing right now. Anyways, um... I do feel like... The anime is doing it a little bit differently from <clears throat> how I'm seeing it. I mean, <clears throat> I could be wrong. Where in the manga, those that thing, because I, I do remember that happening where she was kind of like, "Oh, you can do whatever you want with me," but I'm, I, I always felt like at the end of it, she was only doing that to maybe tempt him to break them up so she could have Persia to herself and that's how I always felt it in the manga like she was only doing it for that reason not as like hmm maybe and and it felt like it in the anime too but then it felt like oh well he he's doing all this for her um and shows that he's like this romantic kind of guy and it, it made it and like I said the anime made it seem like she had some type of unrequited feeling, like very, very small, but enough where they could expand upon for Inuzuka. And it's a little bit odd, because, I, like I said, I didn't get that kind of feeling in the actual manga, but am I am I fine with it? Sure. I mean, I mean, it's it's never going to happen, because, like I said, this show cannot be built around, like, a harem where there's a bunch of gr good girls. I mean, honestly, the other other girl would... Well, no, I take that back. There is two other girls as, like, romantic interests now, I would say, in terms of after this episode, which would be Hasuki and, um, and Char, after Persia, of course. But, um... They're already uh, they're already locked in as a couple, so I mean he can't really say that. It's kind of like my love story, except my love story. They went on from the relationship after episode three, and there was that I could remember that there was like another never an outside source trying to be, like, scoot their way in and break the two of them, so they can end up with one of them. But yeah, I don't know. It, it, it I do find it funny. It did definitely show the the chemistry between Char and Romeo after they. Like, when they were talking about Persia, they they were able just to click, and they were able to, like, push away all their uh, negativity towards each other and just talk about them. Because it shows that they both have feelings for them. And, I mean, Persia did say that... No, 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 Shar did say um, that Persia was her first love, so... I kind of want to see a ship of that, not gonna lie. <laughs> Any artist, uh, or if anyone knows an artist, let me know. But anyways... I'm going to go end the episode here. Um, I'm going to be working on more of my microphone settings. Um, and then I'm going to be writing a script for a video that I'm planning on doing an edit, an edited video. An actual edited video. Uh, and it's going to be something I would like to put some time into. It's probably going to take me a couple days. Because usually it takes me a couple days to knock it out. Because um, I've done this, this type of video before. So I, I, I know the process now. And it's going to be a little bit easier. But anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of the episode. What did you guys like about it? And remember, if there's any audio, oops, if there's any audio, like, problems or things that you want me to touch up on, like I said, I couldn't be really loud today because I, I, I don't know if my roommate's sleeping, but, eh, whatever. Um, so that might also be why I don't seem like I have a lot of energy, but that's, that's another topic side, but, like, the, in terms of quality of the microphone, um, I'd still have a lot of stuff to work on, I feel like, um, until I can get to a spot where I'm thoroughly comfortable, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. It really helps make the channel grow. It helps support me. It means a lot. Also, follow me on Twitter. It is the easiest way to keep in contact with me or update over with whatever's going on, or you can see me post some stuff that... Maybe you want to know things about me. Like, I actually just posted my my own personal top five favorite anime. Um, because that's, like, the big thing going around on the anime Twitter right now. So, I, I post my own things. And uh, I'm, I'm usually able to talk about some stuff in the anime community. And put my own two cents into it. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Goblin Slayer. Until next time, see ya.